Cairo. Let's go. We got Jazzy Jazz. All right, look at this spot. Look at this spot. Little BJs. What? Ooh. I don't want to hear her doing this. Are we smiling? What? What about me? <laughs> what about me? Smiling. Oh, it wasn't. It was a video. It's a video. It's a video. Hi, everybody. Um, Ray, we're in your hometown. Yeah, we're in my home. My hometown. You know. Only 20 minutes from the house. Don't hate. Grace, Don't tell the people why you're mad right now. Go look at uh, your beautiful Instagram story. I'm thumbnail for this week's YouTube Beautiful video. Instagram story. <laughs> All right, smile, and this will be the new one for the no. next one. <laughs> this is awful, too. We just got to the hotel. It is about 9 p.m. Had dinner. We are here in Raleigh now. We're staying at the Sheraton downtown. So right in the city, as you can see. Um, first road trip of the season. NC State tomorrow, 5 p.m. game. About to head down to the lobby to talk a little bit more. Um, X's and O's, game plan for tomorrow, planning, shoot around and stuff with the staff. So um, not going to be too, too late of a night because we want to be well rested tomorrow. But just a little uh, quick meeting in the uh, in the lobby area. So doing that and then uh, going to head to bed. And uh, we got a full day tomorrow. So we'll take you guys through. day of the 2022-2023 season. Just got into Valvano Arena and let's have some wolf pack for dinner today. <laughs> Here. We have pizza kind of. <laughs> <laughs> 
Touchdown. We're in Indianapolis playing the Indiana Hoosiers tomorrow, Sunday, oh my gosh, November 20th at 1 o'clock. So, the last clips that you guys saw, we were at NC State, so filmed that entire uh, trip. So, now we'll be filming the majority of this trip as well. So, we're here, it's early, it's only 12, so we're gonna practice later today, uh, get settled in the hotel, film all that good stuff, and then game day is tomorrow. So, here with my two favorite managers, sorry, Rachel, no, she's watching this right now, Sid and Avery. So, Flight was easy. I was knocked the entire time. Um, was really exhausted, but we're here now. We got a long day ahead of us, so it should be fun. Check in later. All right, finished up a solid practice. Heading to dinner now. We're gonna get some wings. We're at a famous wing spot. I don't know what it's called, but we're gonna eat some wings. That's the Peter's in the joint. Then we're headed back to the hotel. Wrap up the night, game day tomorrow. It's kind of iconic right now. Look at this place. This game was very intentional, okay? To find out immediately what we got in the tank, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. Start it now, right? You want to be the best, you got to play the best, right? That's what we're doing tonight. Take no prisoners get out there and go play. Okay? Together. Together. All right? Y'all heard before. There's going to be time where it's hard out there, right? Y'all heard. Handle the hard great. Handle it together. Be together the entire time. We're all set. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable how nice it is. It's pouring rain outside right now, but let me give you guys a little sneak peek at the, the, the gym, the new rec center. I've been coming here almost every single morning now. Well, we've got a busy day today, so I'm going to take you through the entire thing. Um, gym, recruiting later, practice, all of it. So this is the second floor. So there's another floor downstairs with free weights, squat racks, all that stuff. Surf area over there. Machines, light like stuff is over here, treadmills, ellipticals, um, and lots of rain. Freaking bikes and a rock climbing wall. <laughs> the old weight room used to be literally so tiny, so these are huge upgrades. More cardio. They're opening like a smoothie bar over there it's not done yet but this is where i'm about to be for the next 45 minutes sweating on the stairmaster so again it's like 7 30 right now we practice around 9 30 so depending on the time of practice it's usually between like 9 and 11. um depends on what time i'm really getting here but the big thing is that i've been watching a ton of film in the mornings just on my ipad here and that's really helped my workload in terms of getting prepared for scouts and stuff is carving out this 45 minutes just to bang out some more film in the morning before the day gets going. When the day gets going, it's hard to watch film in the office just because there's so much going on. So this focused time has been actually clutch. This is the main area. 
free weights, squat racks, all the good stuff here, and a bunch of cardio and stuff upstairs like I showed you, but it's winter break now, so this is gonna be the new spot because um, it's going to be empty because no students are on campus. Pretty nice. Hey, this for all of the people that counted me out. Just know that I'm back in. It's time that I tap in, yeah. On the beat, I'm assassin. Independent, I need all my money up front. And I'm back in. Yeah. Alumni boxes celebrating the 10 year anniversary. Lexi, shout out to you. Stacking them up. Alums, thanks for setting the foundation. What are you looking at over there? Huh? Sipping a fucking Starbucks. I'm too what you gonna be? What do you see when you look in the mirror? Life is a beast. What is up guys? I wanted to wrap up the video here. I am home in Carolina Beach, North Carolina. Just got back from the gym, a little late night workout. You guys saw I flew home this morning. Um, it is December 20th, so home for Christmas. We get like actually an entire week, which is awesome. Well, five, six days, um, but pretty long time for break. Coming off a big win last night versus Manhattan. Um, a one and one to start the conference season. So obviously lost the first game of the season, um, which we were not happy about, but uh, came back with a big win yesterday. So it's all about the next game. Always can't, um, you know, can't dwell for too long. Got to move on. But we're really moving into the season now. It's crazy. It's already Christmas time. Again, MAC conference plays here. So all these games from here on out are big. They all matter. Um, we're taking them one day at a time, of course. But get to be home with the family for about a week, like I said. Um, I just wanted to kind of hop into the video and update you. I know you saw a ton from NC State to Indiana, all of non-conference play. So this was probably a longer vlog um, that's just filling you guys in on everything that's been going on with Quinnipiac basketball. So again, home, definitely gonna try and pump out a day in the life video in the next couple days while I'm home. Um, so it won't be really with the team, obviously, because I'm here. But uh, kind of what I'm going to do in terms of prepping for games coming up, maybe doing some review films, some self-scout stuff, and then obviously watching some games and doing some basketball workouts outside like I always do when I'm home. So just wanted to jump in the video to wrap it up. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, seeing the behind the scenes, all of that stuff. So even though I haven't been putting out as many videos in the last year or so, I hope you guys still can take away um, the perspective of a division one athlete of a division one coach that is the goal of these videos is to kind of help inspire motivate whatever it might be um, teach a little bit I guess um, in terms of players or coaches or aspiring coaches that kind of want to be in this position one day I started this thing as a player, just documenting our day in the life of an athlete, what everything consisted of, school, workouts, social life, all of it. And then I wanted to keep it going as a coach because I really enjoy documenting the process. I've talked about this, getting to look back years prior and seeing like, oh damn, that's where I was at or that's what I was doing. Like seeing the growth and the improvement and learning from mistakes, all of that. So these vlogs, as much as they are about me, um, and I get how that can come off as a selfish perspective of, oh, you're vlogging your day in the life, like nobody cares. Like it's for people to learn. It's for myself to be able to look back. And again, I'm just trying to give perspective and help anybody else out who's gonna be, you know, kind of following my path that wants to coach and be a young coach and understanding that you're not gonna know everything and feeling super insecure some days of like, damn, I'm sitting in the room in the staff meeting and like, okay, like I'm gonna just listen. Like just the lessons that I've learned. Like I hope that I'm able to share those perspectives with you guys and that you guys take that away from it. I don't know everything. I'm learning every day. I absolutely love what I do. I absolutely love being around the team. I love being around coaches that really know what the hell is going on and they're teaching me every single day. Um, and the process of getting better is the best part. And that's why documenting this is so much fun because it's not about getting to the next job or, or getting to the championship. It's the process of what you're doing on a daily basis and the steps that you're taking to get there. That's the fun part. Making these vlogs, coming home for Christmas, and now I'm super excited to just watch some NBA film, watch some other college teams where we get a little break from our our league because I'm going to see what kind of ideas can I bring back to the staff? What could we add to our practices to make them better when we come back in the new year? The process of learning and doing, if you're not enjoying that, watching the film, breaking it down, 
working out with players, like then I don't know how you really last in this industry. And again, I'm only in year three, so I'm never trying to preach, but I'm just trying to share my perspective, my challenges, my struggles, what I feel like I'm getting better at. So again, I know I'm ranting a little bit right now, but I was just like to kind of touch on that again. And so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I will see you in the next one.